Hello guys, welcome to Houdini My Simple. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to set up a simple soft studio lighting in Karma so we can have some gentle and diffuse illumination on the object. Let's dive in. Ok guys, so let's do a quick overview on the starting point of what we have on this setup. We have a shaded ball that I separated in exterior and interior and then we have a background and in the background I created a curve node which I used to create a bunch of points from a side view. As you can see I have a floor also kind of half a ceiling on the top that's gonna give you like a nice, a nice bounce on the light. And then you can just pull it through the shape so you can actually create the background. Just make sure to have the point normal option. Uh, and then I just transform this background uh, just to fit the scene properly, just to wrap the, the object. And then I assemble my scene inside Solaris. So just use scene import to bring the background, the exterior and interior of the ball, then create the camera, merge everything uh, together and then create a material library just to assign and create some materials, super simple materials, uh, everything standard. Uh, I just changed the color to the exterior and then on the background I uh, took away the specular so I didn't have any reflection on the background. Okay guys, so there are many ways to create studio lighting, but the main goal is to have soft lighting, soft shadow, so uh, we need a pretty even uh, lighting setup. So I'm going to go here on the left, I'm going to position over here and then create the first area light. I'm going to drag this and create a merge so I can start merging all the lights. Hit uh, connect over here, go back to Karma Render Settings, and now I'm going to start positioning the first uh, light. Uh, I'm going to um, go ahead and move this closer to the shader ball. And then, uh, since I want uh, nice and soft shadows, I want to make this uh, bigger in size. So remember, the bigger the source of lighting is, the softer shadows you're going to have. And then I'm going to go and get the exposure to like a lower value and start playing here a bit with the rotation. I'm going to try to get this to, to different values. So I have a nice and big light coming from the, from the left. So once we have the first light, I'm going to hold the Alt key and drag this so I can have a second light. In this case, I'm going to name this left and this is going to be the right a light and now it's just going to move this into the right side and just rotate this so this is uh, facing the the object and we can play a bit with the position something like this should be fine and again i'm going to drag and connect this everything to the merge this is going to be the front light same size so again we have a nice and soft uh, lighting. I'm going to rotate this to minus 180 so it's facing the shader ball and uh, position this in front of the camera basically. So we have some lighting and reflections coming uh, in front of the camera. So now we can go and select Karma XPU so we can actually start seeing the final look. In this case, I feel the exposure is too high, so I'm going to go half in all three lights. And let's go to the camera so we can see how the end result is looking. And this is looking nice. Uh, maybe I will go up on the exposure again, just a little bit, so uh, we can get everything a bit brighter. And you can create a fourth light if you want some nice lighting and reflection coming from top. So in this case, I'm going to just uh, duplicate the front light and start playing with the uh, rotation and orientation so we can have some light coming from the top. But in this case, I do want the source to be smaller. So I'm just going to be making this uh, less brighter and also smaller and just try to move this on top of the object just to soften uh, some shadows on the background and also to have some nice reflection and lighting coming from, from the top. So back to the camera and this is looking really nice and if you want to the, the light to bounce more we can go to the limits and on diffuse limits 
change this to two. This is gonna make the the secondary rays bounce, and this is gonna create a softer look overall. And you can also play with some color on the light, so you can go and select a bluish tone on the left side and maybe uh, let's go on the right side and get something more purple-ish and now it's looking it's giving uh, like a different feel before it was a bit too flat the, the background so you can play around with colors uh, intensities it's gonna be up to you but now i'm really happy with the with the final result we got from this pretty simple lighting setup okay guys that's it for today thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one